Good morning. Good morning and uh, welcome to Peace Through the Word on this Ash Wednesday, the 20, uh, what is it, the 22nd of February 2023 uh, to Peace Through the Word, Daily Devotional Ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, a LCMS Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod congregation, and I'm Pastor Ron York. Of that congregation, uh, welcoming you this morning worldwide uh, to this daily devotional ministry on this Ash Wednesday. And uh, it is a stormy, windy day here in southern Arizona near Tucson. And uh, winds are really kicking up. And uh, later this uh, today, I'm going to be driving down to Benson, Arizona, where my uh, church is. And uh, that's about 68 miles. And... uh, It's in Cochise County uh, of Southern Arizona, which was very uh, instrumental in the history of the United States. And the winds are even more uh, 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 effective in Cochise County. But a wonderful day in which to be able to welcome you, though, to Peace Through the Word on this Ash Wednesday. Pray that you're having a good day no matter where you are worldwide. uh, And uh, that we appreciate you beginning your day uh, with peace through the word, praying that you're going to receive a blessing today on this Ash Wednesday. And so why do we call it Ash Wednesday? Why do we uh, do the imputation of ashes? Some people say, well, that's Roman Catholic. No, it's not. It's Christian. <laughs> okay. A lot of the things that people say are simply associated because they see the Roman Catholic Christians exercising those and so then they come to the association, well, it's Roman Catholic, but and they think that that's bad. Well, no, it's not. It's very good, but it's not Roman Catholic. It's Christian. The other Christians ought to be doing the same thing, but they don't. They choose not to. So, but Ash Wednesday is the imputation of ashes that we put on the foreheads of people in order to visibly signify that, that to dust you are and to dust you will return. You know, God made every human being out of dust, and you will return to that when you die. And so uh, your life isn't just goes on and on and on and on and on. And here in the United States, we, we, we tend to think that. You know, we don't think about death. We don't contemplate it. We don't take our spiritual life seriously. And so we need to be physically reminded that our lives here are very temporary and very much a mist. And so to dust you are, to dust you shall return. And it's all because of sin. And Jesus came to remedy that problem. And so I pray that you're going to get a blessing today as we focus upon the subject of Ash Wednesday. And the the subject that our devotional is going to use is the exchange of ashes. And uh, so I pray that that's going to bless us as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So allow me to please pray to begin our time together this morning, this Ash Wednesday. We pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you despise nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Please create in us new and contrite hearts that lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, we may receive from you full pardon and forgiveness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so I'm going to share with you this morning uh, the setting of morning prayer, and I pray that that will bless you as well. So, O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise, for the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. 
For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. So glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. And so, my brothers and sisters, the passage of Scripture that our devotional is going to use to unpack for us on this Ash Wednesday, the exchange of ashes, is that of Isaiah chapter 61, verse 3. So we have this recording. Give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes. Ashes were a symbol of repentance. And America is not repenting. And we have people that aren't repenting either. And so that's another reason why we want to have the visible sign of ashes on our forehead is to give us a visual reminder that we need to repent. We need to go in a different direction. Stop what we're doing and go in a different direction. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us this morning. The verse from Isaiah tells us that God's blessings are more than decoration. They are a royal exchange from that which is dead, ashes, to that which is repurposed into something exquisite, beautiful headdress. That exchange is us. Jesus takes upon himself our ash heap of sins and redeems us into people who possess his very attitude, a conduit of his salvation blessings to others that truly lightens faint spirits. Let's consider some of the blessings of this earthly life on this Ash Wednesday. Blessed are the widows who cry themselves to sleep. Blessed are those with an autistic child who never sleeps. Blessed are those whose bathroom scale ignites self-loathing. Blessed are those who left school to support their families. Blessed are those who spent last Christmas all alone. Blessed are those in rehab, plagued by guilt and remorse for the people that they hurt themselves included. Ashes on foreheads are wiped away after this day. Ashes in the heart are not so easily wiped away. Yet in Jesus, all sin, all ashes, are replaced with his blessings of salvation. Praise him that our death is exchanged for life in Jesus Christ. We pray. So, Lord Jesus, may the ashes on our foreheads remind us of the great exchange of death for life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. What a blessing. And Jesus not only gives us forgiveness of sins, but he also gives us the imputation of his righteousness. He makes us holy, as holy as he is. And it's all by grace alone, through faith alone, by Christ alone, and no merit from us at all in any way, shape, or form. And so, my brothers and sisters, O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. So blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He's redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy uh, to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of their salvation by the forgiveness of sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We continue to pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, 
You have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in this same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer, and so together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, I want to thank you for chiming in this morning to Peace Through the Word on this Ash Wednesday morning. Pray it has blessed you. And uh, if you have an opportunity to go and, and receive the imputation of ashes today, I encourage you to do so. And uh, that's a good reminder of uh, many, many things, reminding of us uh, of our sinfulness, reminding us to repent, and reminding us that to dust we are and to dust we shall return. And I pray that uh, you will receive uh, the blessings of salvation, that Jesus loves us so much that he came to live and die and rise again in order to forgive us of our sins, cleanse us of our unrighteousness, and make us as holy as he is. And so uh, I pray that all that will be a source of real blessing to you and give you genuine, real peace. And so the, the, the plane's in the hangar today, but I convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies. <laughs>